We are the bodies of the fuck boy We we ride shotty and chop a boy Me me a bling all over the world I'm sicker than bipolar Tell them me are the bodies of this I'm going target practice Me never left no witness If you dip on me hit list No fingerprints no evidence I'm cleaning out the residence So if you're talking about the US Talk about the president Me have a, me have a gun When the bossy goes on le 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 Kick off your head just like a pe le 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 Them never do say that me back from Australia to le 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 That's why I smoke a lot of smell le 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 Cause man bad in a place where gun shot goes daily And we not feel the army or the navy Bad from baby, bad from ABC One, two, three and even do No one's calling you a noob, dude. Today we're going to talk about the Quake 2 mapper who released the, some would say the best capture the flag map of all time, which is called Blady's Blues. Blady's Blues came out in 1998, um, within the first year of Quake 2 itself being released. It was uh, immediately a big hit, like right from the beginning. Uh, this is a single quad map with two power shields. So one quad, two power shield, capture the flag map that, uh, you know, across all capture the flag mods was very popular. You can look back in time at 1998 and there were several uh, map review sites. My cat doesn't care. And they all really enjoyed it. And then, uh, you know, coming through the years, uh, it was modded several times itself. Like there was uh, a version just for the Rail Wars um, servers that removed the doors. And for me personally, that was a big deal. I'm not a fan of the doors. I like the band, I like classic rock. I don't like doors because they slow me the fuck down. They don't make me happy. But uh, the, the map itself does make me happy because once you remove those doors that open and close and impinge movement, uh, you're left with the narrowness of the, uh, of the doorway itself without the door. And that creates um, some opportune uh, fragging. We call that a door war. The door war of this map is the strongest door war in the Quake 2 universe. And uh, people have always enjoyed it because of that. It's also a symmetrical map. So you have, uh, you know, this big, beautiful middle that people enjoy to rail gun each other in. You have the, uh, the fairness is very high because of the, uh, the mirrored nature of the bases. And, um, so this map I think is like basically, uh, it just captured like the essence of uh, when you think of like the essence of Quake 2 I think that the one map that comes to mind or level you know that comes to mind for me is base one base one is that single level that tells you everything that you're gonna need to know, like, you know, you're fucked, you don't have any backup, you have a ship crashed, you gotta duck underneath that uh, part where you gotta duck, and then, holy shit, like, you're in the hallways of uh, Doom, well, no, you're, not, you're in the hallways of Quake 2, you know, for sure, but, uh, Those are the hallways, man. Like, those are the hallways that symbolize what is coming. And, uh, you have the outdoor part, you know, which I guess would be like the mid. And that's a lot of fun. There's a lot of different jumps out there. And, um, and the map really stands up, you know, base one you can play in. DM, you can play in CTF. I remember playing it on Netdoor. 
and I think that they, they had a rotation that would just like go straight through all the DM maps. Okay, we are coming in hot with the, we got the pizzas here and uh, I hope the base is secure. Uh, this is some old uh, stuff from back in the day showing you that uh, the map was in the OGL CTF pack, uh, you know, so there you go. Title, Blades Blues. File name, RTCTF1, date, April 1988. Author, Richard Tompkins. Email address, ricktomp at AOL.com. Description, smaller, simple, symmetrical CTF level. The textures are mainly from base one. This is about the fifth level I've made for Quake 2 and my first to capture the flag. As I am a bit underprivileged in the friends who play Quake department, this level has only been tested with the eraser bot this is also the reason little use is made of the grapple. One of the best grappling maps of all time, and hooking maps of all time. Put the grapple in the hook, this is your fucking best CTF map. Like, you can go on YouTube now, in 2017, and find people that are posting, like, their routes. Water route, you know, their fucking middle route. I remember Slasher, who I think I think he's uh, now working for ESPN's esports division. Uh, but you know, he used to be a huge uh, um, name in the Q2 CTF uh, professional uh, level scene. <clears throat> I think he represented North America uh, when we had the battle, you know, or the whatever. I do remember coming on to the Acme CTF server. This is like in 2015. It was a big night and uh, Flasher like calling out strategy, like a seven on seven on Bladies Blues and uh, really understanding like all weapons CTF on that map for the first time, probably ever. And I didn't retain that knowledge. It immediately evaporated. Now we're on a different version of the map. Now we're on the uh, version that's called a variation on the blues. And this is a um, version that Merrick did. And um, it's a little bit uh, faster, uh, a little bit of, uh, you can see the uh, water uh, route has been made more user friendly. The uh, Merrick also made a smaller version of this that eliminates the water route entirely. Um, these were very popular maps. I believe, I don't know if, if, I, if I know this, uh, you know, this is hearsay. I believe that Merrick and uh, some of the other mappers that um, were in the, like, Rail Wars and CTF scene in the, uh, like, mid-2000 era were kind of like, like when Weasel, uh, you know, took the doors off Ladies Blues and like released it as his own map, it was kind of like, uh, you know, what's up with that, man? Is that really even a map? That being said, it's my favorite map of all time. I just, I hate doors. I don't know if I said that before. Oh, this is, uh, oh man, I missed my whole cue. You know, I was going to talk about uh, how... <laughs> Um, the map change um, was a map vote and that was probably the f first time in the history of mankind that um, Underlord has had one of his maps voted onto the server. So uh, this is Underlord's version of Ladies Blues. He called it Instant Blues. There's his Clan tag, uh, G-O-B, which stands for good old boys. And later on, we'll see uh, good old boy blues by Monster. Uh, Monster was uh, 
supposedly uh, Merrick's cousin, like a younger female gamer. Oh, check this out. Uh, so Underlord, you know, he, he made this map here. I really enjoy this map because it's like on a diagonal, like on the Z-axis. <laughs> it's on a diagonal. I can just sense it. And uh, the whole map kind of plays like a long angle. But that fan, uh, I guess like when he built it, Merrick was really impressed and uh, Underlord uh, zipped it up as an entity file and he sent it over. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe he sent it as a model file. I don't know. You think I know what I'm talking about? Um, but a lot of this, uh, a lot of this gossip here, you know, it comes from Underlord because he is a huge drama queen gossip. No, he's not. Uh, this is um, this is the LMCTF version of Ladies Blues. LMCTF version by Suck Monkey, I believe. Suck Monkey, one of my favorite mappers. And you can see that there's uh, load bearing support columns in the center. So this one is held up a little bit differently. Got to teleport it instead of water. So it's like um, the ancient Egyptians that, you know, stared at the sun at precisely, uh, you know, the right time during sunrise and sunset. And then they didn't need to eat or drink. It's like that. I guess, you know, the teleport instead of the water. This is the, uh, this is good old boy blues. This is like a very atmospheric, cool uh, take on ladies blues, like with the crystals. Uh, you can see this is a, like, you know, 3D terrain. Um, I think Merrick was using a generator and uh, the mapping program Thread. And, uh, oh, anyway, yeah, I said Merrick because uh, either you buy, you know, the story as it was sold, that monster, the creator of this version of Blakey's Blues, is really uh, Merrick's cousin, or you believe Underlord, who told me that uh, it's Merrick. It's just, uh, you know, he was getting so tired of people asking him mapping questions every time he jumped on a server, like they would just hound him like a pack of uh, bulldogs chasing after a meat wagon. And he got tired of that, so he made a pen name, Richard Bachman. And uh, what are we talking about? What the fuck is going on right now? What is this? Oh, this, okay, this, this is uh, another version of Ladies Blues. And this is by the actual mapper himself, the, uh, the mapper that made uh, the RT in RTCTF1, you know what I'm saying? Um, and in this, like I think that like in the hallway on the way to the base there, like how there's like a, uh, like when you go bowling and you have the bumpers Look here on the sides there. That I think is what really sets me off. That and I guess like the whole texture set for all of the original Ladies Blues being base one. But that, those bumpers, like in the bumpers in the bowling alley and the texture set being base one, I think is what really ties it into base one for me. But yeah, that was, uh, so he even made uh, Rich. Uh, even made his own version there, uh, of, you know, version being like the Jamaican, you know, reggae. Uh, where are we right now? I think that this is the, uh, this is Blades Blues. So yeah, anyway, like, uh, you know, I get like uh, pretty obsessive, compulsive about uh, things in life. And when it comes to Quake 2, um, some of my favorite maps I've been playing since like, you know, the late 90s, like 20 years now, 
I want to know like who made them. It's like really uh, pretty obvious. Like in many cases, some of those folks are still in the gaming community and like are still like doing like other projects and it's cool and you can like reach out to them and you know, they're friendly. Like people like Merrick, uh, Underlord, like these guys, you know, uh, amazing. But uh, you know, the maker of the map of all time for Quake 2 CTF, um, you can even ask Slasher, you know. Um, this guy is like a unknown, so it kind of drives me crazy, and I'm like, I'm going to find out, you know, something about, like, uh, what inspired him, so, you know, like, playing, like, base one, like, I can say that I think that, uh, uh, that inspired him. This is uh, reading a little into the text files, the only other source of information. And basically what this is giving you is the sense that um, the, oh, and uh, the inspiration uh, text file, X files, <laughs> Scully, Mulder, on the case. Monster kill, kill. And I don't know if this is the maker of the map or not, but see, the, see it says recording, yeah. and the seconds are going up. Yeah, Two, yeah. Four. That's working now. So just hold it like that. Yeah. Don't touch the screen. Either. Oh, don't zoom in either. Actually. That's perfect. And yeah. I'll go down there. Yeah. And just get me till I got there, and then back down again. All right. Okay, so the way that uh, that it went down was I um, I was googling the map name, like the RTCTF one, and not really getting much. And so I googled the map name. Did I just say map name? Uh, Ladies Blues, with the map maker's name. Richard Tompkins, and uh, I got a YouTube video do it back that had up nothing again, to do with Big 2, up the, except by that, that tree. says like uploaded cheese, on I January 30th, 2009, the song was written by me and Richard Tompkins in 1998. Uh, an oldie but a goldie, he can play so much better than me. Try and get a proper version up soon by uh, Blady. That's it, that'll do you. And, um, yeah, I, I think I went up over the hedge a bit because <laughs> it just momentarily, as a, it turned into that light, right. You know, and, and here's the fun part about this is that I could be wrong about everything that you're seeing in this video like I could be totally just totally wrong uh, that that might be even you know a higher probability than I'm right the uh, the map could have been made by someone totally different the Richard Tompkins the RT RT man love to hear from you and you know right or wrong <laughs> let me know if there's more of the story i would love that Blady, 67 views uploaded on june 30th 2009 this song was written by me and richard Tompkins in 1998 ish an oldie but a goldie he can play so much better than me Try and get a proper version up soon. Uh, I'm Pete. I write songs, and I don't do this very often, so I hope it's all right. Thank you. 
sell me the truth and sell the truth to me and sell the truth to me and some way And somehow it never dies And you never mind And you never could And you gave me lies And sell me the truth It seemed like, you know, this could possibly be the guy. And um, and if so, like, that was really cool because it showed that, you know, you know, he's no longer active as far as I could tell. And I think he might have done a few uh, Quake 3 maps, but then, like, I don't, I don't really see anything on the internet. Like, I don't know if he's even on like Facebook or even, you know, using like a weather app. I don't know, maybe he's like totally off the grid because uh, after Quake 3, like he, there's really no paper trail, man. And um, so that's like kind of what uh, drove me to, to look further into it. And um, so I think that the cool thing is that even though he might have given up video games, like the, uh, the blues, you know, is uh, is the blues. Like, it's still something that their friendship is built on, like, uh, you know, the music. And um, that's got to be something of quality, man, because uh, that map is, like, uh, what a lot of friendships uh, are built on as well. Like, that's the map that we play. Damn, I play that map. Ladies Blues, I play that map. Every day. I love that map. You should see me play that map. It's ridiculous. Like, it's like, that's... That's my favorite map. I like the one with no doors. By Weasel. And, uh... You know, what others... Let others judge the weasel. For me, the weasel is golden. The rifle shots ring out through the woods at night. Hunters find the birds from where they fall. But Ralphie has no interest if they cannot fly He just wants to have fun and chase them all Here comes the story of when Ralph came The set of the hunters couldn't train For something that they couldn't do Beaten and abandoned then he came Into the shelter he didn't understand why Yeah. <laughs>